this edition of the Iron Pen. That was Puesadenia by David Nape and Fingerstyle Solos Weekly by Mark Nelson. So I hope you had a good day on this great uh, Wednesday. So today, um, you've probably all heard about the book To Kill a Mockingbird. Well, this time we have something, a spin on that, but it is how to kill a mockingbird. Some of you have really pesky birds um, in your yard and you want to get rid of them. Well, this is the thing for you. It not only works for mockingbirds, but any other birds, especially whippoorwills, because I have one and they're, you know, really loud and annoying at night, and so are owls too. So, if you don't love birds, or if you have one kind that you don't like, we have the show for you today. However, there's some things before you need to get started killing your mockingbird or any other bird. Um, first, you always need to be prepared. You always have to have the right equipment um, to get, you know, your stuff. So you're always prepared so you can not have to go to the store five times because it didn't work. So right when that moment happens, you can kill it. You got it right there. Do research on your particular bird. Um, see what time of day they come out and so you can you know get them easily and also find where they live before you go out because they'll make it much easier number four bring a friend it's much safer to have a companion and anyway four hands are better than two now there are five methods to killing mockingbirds the first method method number one <clears throat> is called the old-fashioned way this way, you use a slingshot to kill the birds. Now, this can knock them right out of the tree, or if you aim good and pull it way back, it could knock them right, uh, their brains right out of them, and they'll die instantly. Now, we have several fake birds here that we're going to share with you. See, they even make noise, just like those pesky little birds. So, they're not real, but they're going to be helping us demonstrate um, what we need to do. So, this slingshot can be really handy when trying to kill these birds. Even without the stone, you can still snap their heads off, you know. Or, if they're on the ground, after you shoot them out, you can, you could strangle them to death. Like that. Until they're dead. So, so that's the old-fashioned way. Now there's a sub-method. It's called Method 1B. The old-fashioned but new way, you can put those TNT poppets in there and you pow, 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 and they'll be scared away. If you don't want to exactly kill them, they'll be scared away and they'll never come back to your house. Now, method two. It is a little more expensive than method one because you'll need a lot more equipment for these things. You know, with these things, the birds won't stand a chance against your arsenal. You just pop up and and they'll be all dead. They just shoot them and they'll be all dead because they won't be able to stand a chance and you'll just wipe them all out. However, that's kind of heartless. If you want to be more compassionate, you can try method three and get rid of these horrible, oh wow, tools of destruction. You can always buy a cage from your nearest pet store, a big one with a big, um, with a big, uh, door. Leave it open, get some good camouflage so the birds don't see you. Then they'll fly in, fly in. And then you shut the door and bring them to a park where they can live free and be fed by old people, peanuts, and breadcrumbs, and that will be all great for them. Method four is called the delegation way. If you like delegating authority and you don't want to do it yourself, just buy a cat and then put it outside and it'll kill all your birds. However, if you just want to exterminate like this kind of bird and you want to keep these lovely birds, it might eat all of them and you won't have any birds left and you don't want that. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, little birds. Okay, so anyway, uh, However, you must be careful because if they start breeding, then you have a cat problem. Then you can uh, just buy a dog and then they'll eat all your cats. Uh, if you have a dog problem, you can get a lion and he'll eat all your dogs. 
And if you get a lion problem, <laughs> you can call uh, some famous lion hunter. <laughs> I don't think you'll have a uh, lion hunter problem in your yard, so that's good for that one. Number five, mm -hmm. if you are crazy and like to do weird things, you can build this crazy trap that we're about to show you. We'll show you a picture of it. It's very interesting to watch, yet very expensive. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. We just showed you that bird trap. Uh, you know, our uh, two, our, fe our fine feathered friends can make great pets, but if they get out of hand, you know, you can use those methods. Um, click on the link that is showing to go to my main channel. Uh, I hope you click there because it's some more great funny videos. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Now, I have to apologize to my regular viewers. We didn't have an interview this week. I'm sorry. Oh dear. Anyway, we're sorry. We didn't have one. I'm, I apologize. Please forgive me. But we couldn't get one together. But we promise we're going to have one on Friday. And if we don't, you know, you can whatever. So please comment and like this episode if you like it. If you don't like it, you can co you can say you don't like it. Just please, we like feedback from our viewers. Um, we really like it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.